What up, fam? You know the deal. This is J-Rock back here with you again. As always, if you would, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It only takes a second to click that button, and it will be greatly appreciated. Also, guys, please smash that like button if you are enjoying the content that you're watching, or dislike if, if you don't. Uh, but please do that. That would really help me out a lot. And I just want to say uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to all the ones who have subscribed uh, to all the guys, you know, all, all of you that are watching uh, the content and liking the content. You don't know how much I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, so anyways, moving on, getting into this video. <clears throat> so basically, I uh, just want to get into a whole random uh, assortment of, of things here uh, in this video real quick uh, first off I'm going to start with some Gamecock related news and stuff uh, so the men's basketball team hopefully we're going to be able to play this game uh, against Clemson I hope it doesn't get canceled but that is kind of up in the air right now uh, due to some COVID things so we'll see how that shakes out but yeah it, it's really going to suck if they do cancel it uh, you know especially being you know we didn't get to play them in football so, you, know, you at least want to be able to play them in, in, in one of the other sports. So, um, you know, and that whole thing with, with you know, with football, uh, the SEC, with the way they did the scheduling this year, I kind of went into a rant about that uh, previously uh, in one of my videos. To me, it didn't make any sense. Uh, I really don't see where it accomplished anything. Uh, but, you know, at least if nothing else, they should have let – uh, the, these SEC teams play their uh, big out-of-conference rival. So, you know, like you've got Carolina and Clemson. Uh, you know, we're not the only ones that affected. Georgia didn't get to play Georgia Tech. Florida didn't get to play Florida State. You know, so on. Uh, and it really sucked in Carolina and Clemson's case because it was the second longest-running rivalry in college football history uh, until the SEC thought it was a good idea to enter rubbed it and look like i said before look, it's not that i'm being against any kind of safety protocol or nothing like that but i mean come on let's be honest uh south carolina had texas a&m come in from halfway across the country what is the big deal with us playing a team that's right within our own state i mean you know it's, it's just it's, it's ridiculous but anyways uh, i digress on that uh moving on to some other stuff hopefully soon we get to find out um more on these uh uh on on these staff uh positions may you know some some announcements on some hires hopefully and you know, what we're going to find out uh who's going to who's going to be on this staff but you know i do got confidence that coach beamer will put together a quality staff i know he's you know He's not rushing it. He's taking his time. He wants to make sure he gets the right uh, people in there. And, hey, that, that's what I want. At the end of the day, that's, that's all you can ask for. So, yeah, but hopefully hopefully we'll, we'll get some more news on that uh, coming soon. Uh, moving on. Uh, next thing. Uh, so, uh, as we all know, uh, the Ohio State and Michigan game was canceled. And so, like we were speculating... Uh, and thought they probably would. The Big Ten goes back and they changed their rule. Um, and in order to allow uh, Ohio State to get into the Big Ten title game and therefore into the college football playoff. Now, look, you know, if there's any Ohio State fans watching this, you know, hey, I, I understand Ohio State is a good team. Uh, you know, they, they really are. And look, they can't help. Uh, the games that's, that's that's been canceled. I mean, it's not their fault. Ain't nothing they can do about it. I don't understand that. But at the same time, you know, uh, you know, Allen and them boys there at Indiana just got shafted. Uh, and it's just like uh, it's just like Josh Pate said over there at the Late Kick. Which, by the way, if you guys are not watching uh, the Late Kick over there on Two Four Seven Sports Channel, you don't know what you're missing. Go subscribe. Go over there. Go check them out and follow Josh on Twitter at Late Kick Josh. Um, I hope, hope you're seeing this, Josh. I'm trying to keep you all the plug as I can because it's uh, really good content. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, like he said, you're basically telling Indiana, you know, you're just turning them around. You know, go sit down. You're done. And, uh, you know, that sucks for a team that uh, that their only loss is a close one, uh, you know, to Ohio State. And all they've done is gone out there and, 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 and try to win games and do the best they can. So, you know, I think it just sucks for them, uh, honestly. So, and, and I mean, between the two, I do think Ohio State's a better team, but still, it's just the principle, just just the idea of the thing. So, 
that's all. Um, so let's talk about some games uh, that's coming up this week. Um, I know I hit on these uh, in one of my last videos, but I'm just kind of reiterating real, real quick about some games. Uh, so Bama is going to be going uh, to Arkansas to face the Hogs. Yeah, I think Bama's going to be going in there to cook up some bacon. I uh, don't really see Arkansas having any chance in that game. But, however, I did pick Arkansas to cover the spread. Not by a whole lot, um, I believe, but I believe they will... Uh, I believe they will, uh, you know, come closer than that. Uh, to me, I think 32 is a bit too much. Uh, I'm kind of feeling more around the 24 to 27 range. Hey, hopefully they prove me right, and, you know, hopefully they do cover uh, uh, so I can get my money. Uh, also, uh, Coastal, I know that they're going to cover the spread. They're finally getting to play their game against Troy. Uh, you know, Coastal's always a good bet. Uh, so, you know, ho hopefully I get my money from that as well. Um uh, of course, you know, game college don't have a game this week. Uh, you know, our season is done outside of a possible bowl game. So, uh, Tennessee and Vanderbilt. Woo, what a game that's going to be. Um, <laughs> oh, man, that's that's going to be one to watch right there. Uh, you know, and, and Tennessee fans, you know, BVD, uh, all y'all, my heart goes out to you. Uh, I know you guys have had it. Uh, very rough as well um and you know I, hopefully maybe y'all can get uh, uh pull it out of there uh pretty soon uh and look and i'll say this as far as you know um uh, pro it being out and, and bringing the next guy in i will tell you guys this um the ball you know tennessee really needs to go after if they fire pro it they really need to be going after Jamie Chadwell. Uh, because, and it's kind of interesting, uh, the, the comparison here. Uh, so everybody knows the whole story with Beamer uh, now here at South Carolina. He, he's a Gamecock. He's one of us. He loves the program. This is a dream job for him. He loves the state. So, but then you look at Chadwell. Now, Chadwell loves the state of South Carolina, too. Like I said, that's where he's pretty much spent all of his, his head coaching career. Um so, you know, he does have ties to the state, but uh, he is a Tennessee boy. Uh, he grew up a Vols fan. So, you know, if the Vols come knocking, he ain't going to turn it down. And look, I, I've been, I'm telling people, people are sleeping on Chadwell. If this guy gets into the Power Five, uh, especially to an SEC school, and can get a hold of SEC talent and the facilities and stuff that comes along with that, that guy's going to have a winner on the field. He is going to put a winner on the field. So, uh, you know, I, I'm really going to hate that if y'all do get him. But, hey, if y'all want somebody to turn that thing around for y'all, you know, and some people are going to laugh at it if they want, but I'm saying you, I believe Jamie Chadwell is going to be your guy. Uh, but, yeah, and Vanderbilt, of course, looking for their coach. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see who they get. Man, are they in a – in quite the mess right now i think sarah, sarah fuller is uh I think she should be playing the game this week right um <laughs> hopefully for you tennessee fans she don't end up kicking the game winning field goal with you guys uh yeah that that, like I said, that game is going to be pretty interesting to watch you know just uh you know aside from south carolina the two other you know, programs uh two, two of the other programs that are struggling the most uh, in, in the conference uh yeah, that's, that's definitely going to be something something there. Um, uh, you know, and, and going to have some other games. I don't really remember many of the rest of them uh, right off the top of my head. Now, Army and Navy. Oh, I got the Army and Navy game this week. Of course, I'm Go Army. Uh, of course, you know, uh, for any of you guys who don't know, I am prior mil military. Uh, I was uh, in the Army National Guard. So, of course, I have a bias uh, towards Army. So, you know, I'm pulling for Army in that one. I'll put my money on them. So, hoping for, uh, hoping for an Army win there. Uh, but, yeah, that, that one should be good. I'm definitely going to be watching that one as well. Uh, and that's about it, about it as far as, far as the, uh, the games. Uh, also, wanted to uh, kind of just talk about this real quick. Uh, guys, as we know, uh, the college football season is winding down to an end uh, here shortly. And so we're going to be in the off season. So, you know, 
a little bit less to make videos and stuff about you know because there's no games but um i'm still going to be making uh you know videos if anything happens you know any storylines any you know anything that breaks uh, during the off season i will definitely be on top of it uh, covering it like you know a fly on stink so um but with that during the off season um i'm hoping that is going to allow me the time uh to uh, do more video uh, production uh, projects uh, which real quick if you guys haven't checked it out um, uh, please uh, see my shy smith and uh, kevin harris uh, highlight uh, vids uh, for all you gamecock fans out there also if there is any uh, fans of any other teams if you would like me to make a highlight vid uh, of a player uh, from your school or of your team let me know i will do it um but yeah i'm hoping uh like i said during the off season i got a lot of stuff planned got a lot of uh like i said video production projects uh that i kind of want to uh i kind of want to create and publish and, and get out there so i uh, got some pretty interesting things uh in mind uh, that i want to get lined up hopefully uh it all pans out so uh, you guys just be you know just stay tuned for that. Be looking out for that. Uh, and like I said, um, of course, I am a Gamecocks fan. But look, if you're not a Gamecocks fan, don't worry. Uh, this this isn't a Gamecock only channel. Uh, I talk, you know, I talk sports and, and college football, uh, especially in, in general. It, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, Gamecocks or not, that, that's that's no that's no uh, that's no big thing. Um, <clears throat> so, but yeah, I mean. Uh, like I said, you know, if you guys would just, you know, please continue to uh, support me and support the content. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, but that's all I got for now, guys. Just want to get on here and talk about those things. Uh, thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to, uh, you know, little old me. So I greatly appreciate it. Uh, this is all I got for now. This is J-Rock saying peace. Spurs up. God bless.